Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you one of the very basic skill in Excel VBA, which is how to add, rename and delete worksheets for your workbook. So um, this is something that I think everyone should know before you progress to uh, a more uh, advanced level of VBA. So I have already prepared the codes here. Um, and um, this is something that you can bring up and you can copy and paste into your spreadsheet and just test it out. So let me explain to you what they mean here. So first you need to name your sub to something that makes sense to you. And then the next line is really to just make sure that um, the marker is operating on the selected worksheet. So which means like your active sheet needs to be activated. And then I have a comment here to note my action here, which is uh, I want to add a new sheet after my active sheet. So this is a line of code that you need. And then I have another comment here to direct my action, which is to rename the sheet. And then that is actually just this line of code. And then in the double quote, uh, it is any kind of like tab name that you want. Uh, but I think there's an um, there's a lens constraint. So if you name it more than um, a certain lens, I think it's 31 characters, uh, you wouldn't be able to do that. But then let's say that for my case, I just want to name it as pivot table. Uh, and then the next uh, action that I want to do is to delete the sheet, uh, which is really you select the worksheet, uh, say in our case, pivot table, and then delete it. And then that's it. So now I'm going to test it out uh, using F8 because it's going to show me step by step um, how we are operating the Excel um, VBA. So I think like look at the sheet here and then you will see the change. So. Now, um, let me bring up the code and then I'm pressing F8. So that's um, when the line is highlighted, that means that uh, Excel is running that line of code. So it's going for the next one. Uh, it's going to the next one, um, next one. And then you can see that uh, I'm telling Excel to add a new sheet. Um, let me go over it. It's naming it a pivot table here. And then the next one is that I want to delete it. So I go Excel, um, F8. And then you see I have bring up Excel brings up a, a message box to, to confirm if you really want to delete. So when you press delete, then this command is uh, is run through. However, let me stop it here. However, when you run a macro, you don't want a message box to stop you from running it, right? So in that case, what you need to do is to add another line of code, which is um, application display alerts uh, equals false, which means that you don't want uh, the alert to display, right? So now let's run it again and see what happens. Yeah, the new one is created, renamed, and then deleted. And there's no message box uh, when you delete uh, the worksheet anymore. So this is how we um, conduct those three actions with workbook with VBA with really four lines of codes. And uh, in one of my future ver video very soon, I'm also talk going to continue to on this topic and talk about how to create a pivot table with VBA. And again, in just a few lines of codes. Uh, if you are interested in um, learning more about Excel VBA, I have a playlist called Excel Macro for Beginners, and I would recommend you to go there. Um, I will also put my future videos uh, for VBA into it, and I'm pasting all my VBA codes in the video description. So that is everything I want to share with you today, and I hope it's helpful to you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.